Marco, this is Hope's. Yeah, Hope probably dropped it when she was over visiting her grandma. Mr. Froggy, are you kidding me? Star would freak if Hope left this anywhere. It's the only thing that calms her down when she gets upset. Except now Star's got a lot more to worry about than Mr. Froggy. Who's there? It's James. Oh. What are you doing here? I need to see Cole. But come on, can't you just tell me? All I want to know is if anyone's heard from Eli Clark again. Didn't the commissioner tell you to go home? Oh. I've been consulting with the profiler for the past hour. What, have you heard anything? Has there been any news? Well, Bo told me that Eli contacted Todd with a ransom demand. Did anyone speak to the girls? No, uh, Todd talked to Danny. Not Star. Well, maybe he just didn't want to risk having them trace the call. Well, maybe Star and Hope were in more danger than we thought. If you try to stop me, I will take this bat and split your head open. I don't think so. Paul's not here. Why do you need to see him? We got into it before. At the police station. I pulled Star into helping my brother hide Danny. And now Cole's blaming me for what happened to her. Why shouldn't he? I didn't come here to explain myself to anyone. I came here to tell Cole... To remind Cole that we're on the same side. Are you? We both want everybody home safe and sound, right? Look, Nate and I have been trying to figure out a way to find Star and Hope and Danny. But we couldn't think of anything. So I thought I'd have better luck with Cole. I think Bo's right. There's nothing you can do here. I think you should go home. And do what? Just wait? Is that what you do with the person you love and your child were missing? No, I do exactly what you're doing. I'd stay here and make sure everybody's working to bring my family home. Right, Cole. Leave this. I was so worried about Eli coming after Hannah that I wasn't where I should have been. At home protecting Star and Hope. And now they're 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 where who knows where? With Eli Clark. Listen to me. There was no way to predict what Eli was going to do, but after what he's done to Hannah, it was only logical to assume that she was the one in danger. I guess. Right now, where is she now? She's not at home by herself, no, is no. she? No, she went to see Dr. Levin, and, and Langston and Mark are at the house in case there's any work there. Good. It was good of them to stay. Well, I think it's more because they're uh, worried about me coming back in one piece. They're not exactly crazy about me hanging out with Hannah either. No? But I'm going to tell you what I told them. Ever since Hope and Star went missing, Hannah's been great. Where did you get that gun? It's my father's. He has a collection in the basement. <clears throat> Here? This is your parents' house? I hope you like your room. I spent a lot of time here as a kid while my parents stayed downstairs completely ignoring me. Hannah, I'm very sorry the way your parents treated you. You think it was just my childhood? <laughs> I wish! Did Cole tell you where my parents have been this whole time while I was getting arrested and almost died in St. Anne's? Traveling through Europe. Hannah, I'm very sorry. <laughs> well, you should be. Because right now, they're not back. It's only me, you, and your little girl. And I have no intention of being ignored anymore. What do you think you can do that the police aren't already doing? I don't know. But Cole and I have, you know, vested interest in everyone coming home safe. I get Cole's vested interest, but what's yours? Danny's my little brother's girlfriend. Hang on. I just want to help Star. I don't know why that's so hard to understand. I, uh, gotta go pick up a prescription for my dad. Um, you call me if there's any news. Yeah, of course. I guess I should go, too. Now, wait. 
I know what you're doing. You're trying to look like the hero to Star. That way, when she gets home, maybe she'll choose you over Cole. I swear, as soon as Star gets home, I'm not leaving her side. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to do everything I can to fix things between us. I'll... Hey, have you heard anything yet? Okay, okay. We should go. We need to go. No, Mom, go where? The only place I want to be is where Star is. I know, but you are not alone in this. All right, I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't mean to be taking this out on you. No, it's okay. No, it's not. Look, I know you care about Star. And Hope is your grandchild. I mean, I know you're worried, too. I am. I just wish there was something I could do to help you through this. Thanks. But I don't think there's anything anyone can do right now. You know, maybe there is. Come on. What are you gonna do? I thought I made that clear. I just want to be happy. And once you and Hope are out of the way, I have a really good chance at making that happen. You're kidding me, right? You really think that by killing me and my and my daughter Cole's daughter that he's going to go running into your arms and you're going to live happily ever after? Actually, yeah. That's not going to happen, Hannah. Oh well, no, not right away. Of course, he'll need time to grieve, but eventually, and I'll be there for him, a shoulder to cry on, a hand to hold when the pain gets to be too much, and eventually a warm bed so we can move on. My parents aren't like yours, Hannah. They notice when I'm gone, and they're going to wonder where their granddaughter is, too, especially Cole's mom and John McBain, and they're probably all wondering where I am right now. In fact, they're probably out there looking for us, especially Cole. Oh, they are. But see, the thing is, Star, everybody thinks that you and Danny are with Eli. Just quite the manhunt going on for him, but nobody's really looking for me. Just give them time. No. All I've got is time. See, when you and your sister went missing, even the cop who was protecting me lost interest. I'm used to being ignored. It's how I get away with things. You know, Todd, you were right about before. Realize that once they find Eli, they'll realize that Hope and I aren't with him. So? They'll just think Eli got rid of you. But Cole will never stop looking for us because he loves us, Hannah. He loves me. Then why did he tell me he had feelings for me? Just like you have feelings for James. There's no point in denying it. There's obviously a connection between you two. I saw it there the first day you guys were together in the park. You know, it kind of reminded me of the connection that I had with Cole. The connection that you have with Cole is only one way, Hannah. And the only reason why James and I had a connection at all is because you manipulated me and Cole. <laughs> you lie to everyone. Oh, come on. Why don't you just admit that you want James? I love Cole. <laughs> then why are you wearing this around your neck, huh? How can you say that you love Cole when you're wearing this around your neck? I just want Star back, safe and sound. And yeah, I'd like to be with her and it hurts that I can't be. Just like it hurts my brother Bobby that he'll never be with you. But what I really want is for Star to be happy. Home, safe, and happy. Is she? Is she what? You said so yourself. You guys are best friends. You tell each other everything, so you would know. Is Star happy? You need to stop pretending that James doesn't mean anything to you because it's only hurting Cole. Don't tell me about Cole, it's Hannah! What he told me. Not like he had to. It's so obvious, Star. You couldn't stay away from James if you tried. But you haven't really tried. James wants you in his life, and you want him in yours. Sorry. I hit a nerve. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think I do. Why do you keep denying it? Hmm? Why couldn't you have just made life easier for the rest of us? When you and James were on the run, you should have just kept running. Off into the sunset. So that Cole and I could be together. You know what? You're right. I lied to Cole, and I've been lying to myself. The truth is, is that I love James. Star loves Cole. That's not what I asked. Look, 
James, nobody's happy all the time. But Star and Cole and Hope, they're a family. And Cole is the only man that Star wants in her life. Yeah, I know that. But don't you think... I mean, you do know what it's like to care about two people at the same time, right? Speaking of, is there something going on between you and Mark? No, no, we're just... Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. What? I just don't understand why you and Bobby didn't hook up again after he was fired. I thought the problem was his being a professor and you being a student. And whoever sent those pictures to the dean sure to take care of that problem quickly. So you have no idea who sent those pictures to the dean? No, Bobby said he didn't want to find out. How did this conversation become about me and your brother? <sighs> I don't know. I guess we both just don't want to think about what Star's going through right now. It's kind of scary. But she'll get out of it. She always does. Yeah. And when she gets home, the last thing she'll need is another complication. You don't have to worry about me. I care about Star too much to do anything to upset her. I just hope Cole feels the same way. 50 